Okay, so this is probably gonna seem silly, but I just had to make this video as someone who loves languages. So, lately, a lot of things have been happening in a country called Niger. And on the news, like a week ago, people were calling it Niger. But slowly I've seen how it's been morphing and more and more people who come on and do like interviews and talk about it, they, they're starting to say Niger. And I've even seen some news personalities who a week ago, when they were talking about it, they were saying Niger, and now they pronounced it Niger. And I'm just like, what is going on? I think this is like a thing of like peer pressure and the cool kids are doing it. So one thing you need to understand is that every country, uh, sorry, every language has its own names for countries in their own language, right? So for example, um, you know, we play around with this in English. You might say, or you might have had friends that have said, um, I'd like to go to Paris or Mexico on vacation. And when you do that, you understand that you're just having fun by saying those places in their native languages. But it doesn't mean that this is the proper way to pronounce Paris and Mexico. And in English, we say Chile, not Chile. So this pronunciation can be fun when made with languages similar to our own, like Latin-based languages. But for example, Egypt, the language they speak there is Egyptian Arabic, and they don't call their own country Egypt, they call it Masr in Arabic. And the same thing with China. In Chinese, it's not China, it's Zhongguo. So um, let's take Germany, for example. We might say, I'm going to Deutschland this year uh, for Oktoberfest, but Germany in Chinese is Dugwa, and in Spanish it's Alemania. So even the United States in Spanish is Los Estados Unidos, and in French it's uh, Les Etats Unis. So you could say a mixed sentence, like with two languages or even more, like they do with Rujak in Malaysia, but um, like I'm coming home to Los Estados Unidos but you'd have to say that to someone who understands what you're saying, and you know that you've switched from English to Spanish or the other language. So there's even terms for that. There's Spanglish and Toglish, which is Tagalog, Filipino language, and English mixed together, and in, even Chinglish. So in communities where two languages are spoken together, they, they make languages like this. But those are spoken by people who are fluent in both of those languages among themselves. And however, they know that this is not proper English and it is inappropriate to be pronouncing um, these words in that way on the news. Now, let's get back to the word Niger. In English, we have a huge amount of words with French origins like civilization. Um, in fact, most words that end in ION are from French. We just have a huge amount of words from French. But we pronounce them with our English pronunciation. We don't say civilization. We say civilization. However, there are some words that we did keep the French pronunciation of uh, while remaining to be proper English, such as naive, a la carte, couture, chic, déjà vu, fiancé, and even genre. However, Niger is not one of them. The confusion comes from the fact that Niger was colonized by France in about 1900. So French is an official language of Niger. Its official name in French is République du Niger. So to add to the confusion, when natives who are fluent in French speak English, they have a tendency to want to keep their pronunciation of Niger. So they may even correct a native English speaker and tell them that it is pronounced Niger, but this is wrong. So that's like a Chinese person correcting you, speaking a complete English sentence, but calling China Zhongguo, like, no, excuse me, I don't come from China, I come from Zhongguo, or a Thai person saying, no, I come from Pratet Thai. I've even been corrected by people in Barcelona having a complete English conversation with them, but then they say, no, 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 it's pronounced Barcelona. Okay, sure it is when I'm speaking Catalan. Niger should only be called Niger 
if you're having a complete conversation in French. So since we're on the topic, I'm going to give you a bonus lesson. Iraq and Iran are how those words are pronounced in English. In Arabic and Persian respectively, they are Iraq and Iran. So that should clear up that confusion with the same concept so that you understand that. Someone from Iraq might be like, I'm not from Iraq, I'm from Iraq. Well, you are when you're speaking Arabic. Um, and this has nothing to do with pride or that I think English or the American English way is better. It's not. It's just a language. And just to go slightly more in depth, let's go over the pronunciation of G. So G can be G and J, but not J. So we could say a sentence like, it gives me goosebumps, or I need to digest my food. But we, you can't say digest. That is a French pronunciation of G. So since you understand it, the, the whole linguistic etymology of the foundation of this pronunciation, when you see the people on the news saying Niger, remind yourself they're falling victim to like a popularity contest and maybe they think it's another French word, chic, or I don't know. To, to pronounce it that way. So that's like them saying, the, the president of Mexico announced today, like it's just pretentious. So it's understandable, but it's incorrect. So don't be naive, pronounce Niger as Niger.